Hey everyone, this is Daniel and today I'm going to show you how you can do a bulk update of filtered items in uh, Power Apps. Um, so with another one of the uh, Power Apps Power User, uh, I had this discussion and uh, the question basically was that, hey Daniel, I've gone ahead and uh, I've, I've been able to successfully uh, filter items in a gallery and, and that gallery is basically attached to another data set. Um, and now I want a bulk update, say just one certain column in that uh, uh, Power App, and how do I go ahead and do that? Um, so I definitely did uh, you know, research on that and came up with a little proof of concept, which I'm gonna share with you. Um, so first, let me just show you the app itself. Um, so what I did was in the app, um, I've gone ahead and uh, you know uh, got the gallery over here, and in the gallery, I'm going to go ahead and filter it. Uh, and then based on the, um, the submit button, I'm going to go ahead and update it. So that's basically the gist of the scenario over here. Um, and I know that uh, these formulas that you see over here, and then these formulas that uh, you see on the submit button, they, they do look a little bit complex over here, uh, but, but don't you know worry too much about that because um, I've already gotten the whole uh, blog written up and it's available in the Power Apps user community over there. And then that, um, that uh, blog has uh, screenshots over here of the entire thing. Plus, I've also gone ahead and uh, provided the text. Um, that way, when you go ahead and want to, you know, recreate the exact situation for something that you have or for learning purposes, you can literally just copy and paste it from here. Um, and in addition, I've also provided a um, attachment, which is basically a uh, this zip file contains both the Power App um, and the Excel spreadsheet that I use for this proof of concept. Uh, so you can basically you know, download that and create the same data connections and uh, recreate the exact same situation. Um, so before I demo the app to you, let me actually just show you all the data that's connected to it. Um, for the sake of this demo, I went ahead and just created a simple Excel spreadsheet and it's updated to my uh, OneDrive over here. And the Excel spreadsheet actually has a few sheets in them. Uh, the first one over here is where I'm going to go ahead and make the update in that bulk um, update in that filtered item. Uh, also, I want to show over here that uh, there's you know um, no smoke and mirrors that this is a legitimate way of doing it. Um, that you have this quantity column over here, and right now when you look at um, the quantity, uh, there's literally there's just blanks. Everything is blank, um, and this is what I'm going to demonstrate to you is how I was able to update that. Um, and then the other um, sheets are basically just you know the OEM IDs. This is where I'm pulling that information from for the filtering purposes. Same thing for the manufacturer, for the device, name, um, and the accessory. Um, and for the name, you can basically even change that to model if you want, whatever uh, suits your need over there. Um, so this is the Excel spreadsheet. So now that you've seen that, when I switch over to Power Apps and you see my data sources, it'll actually make more sense to you that it's, these are the exact same data sources, which were basically the sheets in that Excel spreadsheet that you saw over there. Uh, so let's go and do the demo. So I'm gonna go back over here, and uh, right now, uh, there's different options to filter with. So if I go ahead and say filter it with Dell, you know, you can only see the Dell ones over here. Um, if I go ahead and say, oops, let me go back in. Uh, filter it, say, instead of the manufacturer, filter it based on device, say all in one, then you can see all of those over here. Um, as a side note, uh, Audrey uh, from the Power Apps team has done another um, uh, video blog recently and she's actually explained that uh, in, in this filtering over here, you can only do that one at a time uh, for now. Um, so that's that's why I did it this way. Uh, but for the sake of this demo, what I'm gonna do is, let me go ahead and actually pick um, Microsoft over here, because I've got all these. Um, uh, the Microsoft is the manufacturer, and then I've got the accessories pen, and I wanna update the quantity. The quantity in this case is basically just uh, the quantity available of the accessory pen in the inventory. So what I'm gonna do is I say, okay, for the quantity, I know right now I've got say 20 pens in my inventory um, asset collection. So after I've done that over here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on update and I'm gonna click on submit. And as you can see that these dotted lines are, uh, or dots are moving over there, that means that some update is going on. Now, um, I wanna let you know that there is no flow running in the back end. None of that is going on. This is all happening directly in Power Apps tied to the data connection, and it is using the update function. Um, so there's no flow uh, action running in the back end. Um, so now that 
the way I put the submit button is when everything's done, I go ahead and reset it. So let's just go back to look at the manufacturer, Microsoft. And now you can see that the quantity has changed over here. Again, to prove that everything is working as it is, um, if I just go ahead and refresh this on my Excel online, and now I look at quantity, um, I actually, oh, well, you can see right over here that all four of them have been updated in bulk. Um, and also remember that I was able to filter first Microsoft uh, over there as a manufacturer. And so this is the way I was able to successfully do is just filter it in um, a filter at first and then do a bulk update. Um, so that actually was a good question which is asked to me. I was able to recreate the exact scenario uh, and do the update. Um, for the sake of this demo, I did it in Excel. Uh, you can do the exact same thing, say with SharePoint, with uh, you know, yeah, even with the SQL tables, because the function um, and the formula will remain the exact same. Um, so, just as a quick overview, let's take a look at the formulas over here. And there's two formulas that you want to look at, because um, uh, based on what you select over here, it's this gallery that gets updated. So the gallery over here is saying that I want you to filter this inventory, which is basically the data source that I've gotten, and I want you to filter it based on uh, whatever is the dropdown that is selected. So if the dropdown is not equal to select one, select one being the default, if it is not equal to that, then go ahead and filter it based on the selection I did, which is the selected value. Um, the colons or the double colons is as good as or. So first is, uh, if your manufacturer one, which is uh, manufacturer is not equal to select one, then go and filter it based on the select manufacturer or do the same thing for the device, where if the device one, which is this one over here, if it is not equal to select one, then go ahead and filter it based on what is selected here or for the name or for the accessory. So that was how this filtering of the gallery is going on. And then let's take a look at the submit button. Um, what I did for the submit button is added this little extra feature over here, which is this update uh, in bulk um, uh, checkbox. And I did that basically just as a precaution uh, so that you know you don't go ahead and select it and then select whatever choice you wanted and accidentally click the button. Um, I wanted to do that you know, one-step verification, so I added that um, update checkbox. And so that's why I said I put in this if function over here that if the checkbox value equals true, which means if you have selected that checkbox, then use the update if function and in the update if function uh, go ahead and update it um, you know based on uh, whatever is the selection that you did and then the update value basically comes to whatever you selected uh, in this uh, quantity over here text um, so it basically just verifies that whatever you've selected whether it be the manufacturer device name or accessory that's why you see all four of them with the or function and then if everything is good, go ahead and update that quantity. And the quantity is this column over here uh, equals the text input two, which is basically that text uh, control over here. Uh, so those were the two big formulas that I wanted to show. And the combination of the two basically allowed me to do two things, which is first filter the items in the gallery and then update those in bulk, all using Power Apps. Did not use Flow anywhere in the back end. This was all done using Power Apps. Um, so once again, this demo really did a good proof of concept based on a question I was actually add, uh, asked by a power user that how I was able to do this update in bulk for a uh, already filtered gallery. Um, so I've also provided the uh, Power App and I've also provided the Excel spreadsheet so you can actually recreate this own situation, maybe do a little reverse engineering and you know come up with another solution which matches your requirement. Um, and hope this helps.